Alright, so I thought I'd finally make a video about my knee arthroscopy. For those of you who don't know, a knee arthroscopy is sort of like a, a really serious operation which is done through a tiny, tiny hole, like a keyhole. It's literally called a keyhole surgery. And when I had this operation, it was to remove a tiny piece of cartilage from inside my knee joint, which was sort of floating around and got stuck there. And I actually kept this as a really sort of weird souvenir. So it's a really sort of useful operation for removing little chunks of cartilage and stuff. But long story short, it was really difficult and annoying to recover from. So I thought I'd make this video just to share my story a bit, to share my experience with it. And if, obviously if you're, if you happen to be healing from any arthroscopy, this might help you. But if not, then hopefully you'll find it interesting. Anyway. Those lovely cherries. Okay, so another thing that happened is I cycled through a giant puddle the other day and my shoes just would not stop smelling. They just smell of like wet dog. So what I've done is I put them in the freezer. <laughs> Apparently this is like a way of killing the bacteria that make them smell or something. So as I said, I had this operation. I was down for about five to six months in which time, you know, I couldn't really walk properly. I couldn't certainly couldn't cycle around, I couldn't, you know, run or do anything like that. I just had to literally stay in the house and do sort of exercises like to strengthen my legs again. But it sort of reduces their ability to move and function as normal muscles. So you have to like rehabilitate them and build up your strength again. So when you start, like when I first came out of the operation, obviously I couldn't walk. I had to use these sort of crutch things and uh, I couldn't really put any weight at all on the actual knee itself. So that was annoying, obviously. And then going forward from that, I did these weird exercises where I would have to like lift my legs up, hold them in a certain place, and then lift them down again. I think they're called leg raises. I don't really do them now, I just do squats these days, but it's sort of like a, a toning, strengthening exercise for when you can't put all of your weight on your leg, but you still have to try and build up some sort of strength. As soon as I could actually do that, and you know, do these leg raises for a certain number of months, I think it was about three to four maybe three months before I felt like I could walk properly on the leg. And then after that, as soon as I possibly could, I got on a bike. And just being able to cycle around, like around the block was so useful because it, it was the fastest way of building back strength to the knee. Like it meant that I could recover a lot faster. Um, and as soon as I was able to do that, you know, I felt my recovery was like a lot quicker than it would have been. Because when you cycle, you're constantly pressing down on the pedals, you know, so you're constantly straining and using the muscle and so it gets strong very quickly. Plus it's a lot more fun than just lifting your legs up, up and down, uh, you know, on the sofa. So it is a lot more fun, much more useful. And from then on, I, I definitely felt like I was recovering a lot faster. But overall, like this operation was really mentally draining because not only did it take ages to recover, but I also had about four operations previously uh, in an attempt to remove this sort of lump from my knee that they just couldn't find. Because when, you, when you've got so, something loose in your knee, it floats around everywhere and you know, it could be behind the knee, it could be in front of it, around the side. It's almost impossible to find it, you know, especially in one operation with one tiny like keyhole telescope thingy, whatever they use. So it was actually quite difficult to, to get this thing out. But then when they eventually did like, I remember coming to after the operation and just sort of crying with happiness because they'd finally found this lump and it meant I could start to walk again, you know, I could start to do the things that I've always wanted to do and then, since then it's been amazing, you know, I've climbed up the Great Wall of China, I've climbed Ben Nevis, I've done all sorts of things that I thought at one point I was never going to be able to do. Alright, so we've just got to the Great Wall. So I guess this is mainly just a sort of reminder to you that if you're going through something difficult, you know, especially health-wise, you know, most times you can recover from it, you just need to be patient and stick through, you know, the difficult times. Uh, especially if it's something like a, like an operation where you can rehabilitate yourself. With enough like determination, obviously this was only a keyhole surgery, so they're fairly minor in the grand scheme of things, but you can, you know, push yourself to rehabilitate yourself again. Lighting here is terrible. All right, so a really sort of weird thing I did is I actually kept the lump of cartilage they found in my knee and like kept it in a little vial as sort of like a souvenir that, to remind me that I can always overcome difficulties and sort of to stay positive about things. Because at one point I felt like I was never gonna be able to walk properly again. I felt like I would never be able to like go out and travel and do all the hiking and stuff I wanted to do. So let me try and find it somewhere up here.
Okay, I think I found it. It's... That's gonna come in useful. That's it. That is the lump of cartilage that pretty much stopped me walking for a couple of years, maybe more. And if you look at it, like compared to the size of my foot, that's actually quite big. Like imagine if that's stuck in your knee and it's like floating around getting caught in all the joints. Anyway. By the way, on like a side note, climbing the Great Wall of China was so cool. I would recommend it to anyone. It's like the biggest hike I've probably ever done just because the stairs are massive. You think they're gonna be tiny, right? And the, but they're actually sort of, I can't even show you in this frame. Can you tell I like drones, by the way? Look at them all. 